Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Saturday, November the 16th. Today I'm looking at using uh, GNSS and AIS on the Raspberry Pi. So what I've got set up here is I've got a Raspberry Pi 4B. Uh, I've got an RTL version 5 to receive the AIS. Uh, I've got a marine antenna here. There's my marine antenna. There's my GNSS uh, patch antenna. It's connected down here as well. This guy here is just a lithium battery to power the RPI. And uh, as far as the screen and the keyboard, I've connected it to my desktop via a router, via an Ethernet cable. So we'll go over to uh, Camtasia on the uh, desktop and we'll look at the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, settings on there. Okay, so I'm looking at uh, my uh, Raspberry Pi 4 desktop. What I did for the, um, this particular um, a blog post and video as I created a new um, new Raspbian image so I got the latest image I burned it with uh, Raspberry Pi imager and I got to admit it's very nice the VNC seems to work a lot better so I used the um, Debian 64-bit image now there was a problem with um, OpenCPN OpenCPN is not in the new um, RPI repository so what I did is I uh, installed Flatpak and the Flatpak hub as a version of OP, OpenCPN. So that's where I got the OpenCPN from. So let's uh, get that going here. So that appears here under graphics. <clears throat> so there's my OpenCPN. I've got the charts loaded for Toronto. My location, um, we're doing this from my home location. I'm quite far away from the, um, from the harbor here. So uh, we'll see that in a sec here. There's the, the red boat. So I'm located up here. Uh, like I say, I'm not close to the harbor, but we're still going to be able to pick up some AIS, which is good. Because the AIS catcher is very sensitive. So I'll just zoom in on the harbor here. Let's quickly look at the connections here for OpenCPN. So if we go here under connections, I got my GNSS unit set up for serial. Uh, that's the, um, the port on the Raspberry Pi for 4800. And I've got a network connection using UDP at localhost port 010110. So those are my connections. Okay, so let's start the AIS catcher. So I installed it from the script, which I've uh, listed in the blog, blog post. So all I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the... Um, the GUI version. I'm just going to use the, the command line just like I did in Windows. So there's the command I'm going to run. So I'm going to stream my packets, uh, UDP packets, at localhost, and that's the port. So when I uh, execute this, we should see some activity here. So it found the uh, RTL version 5. Now we're getting lots of signals there. So let's just look on the... Um, the plot here so we can see that even though I'm surrounded by steel condos uh, and I'm far away from the harbor we're still picking up some signals so there's the signal there that's the M MSI there there's another one there there's another one there there's Amy Lynn I always like Iron Guppy that's my favorite boat it's always there somewhere I don't see it right now Anyways, we can see that uh, we're getting a similar uh, similar uh, sensitivity um, from the AIS catcher that we did on Windows. So that's pretty good. And like I say, we're, we're located uh, all the way up here. We're not close to the harbor at all.